Alright guys, Jesse here with 6P Media and yeah the wind's kind of going pretty good today. But have y'all ever had the issue where y'all put LEDs in your vehicle and you no know, just stays on? It's, and uh, your regular bulb works fine but your turn signal, it doesn't hyper flash but it just stays on. Well, I'll show y'all how to fix that with... Oh, we're gonna get in here. It's a little bit warmer in here. It's it's gonna be this right here, a solid state flasher relay. Now this truck has a two pin flasher relay. Well, the point of the wire in here is because this has the round plug, but obviously this is not a round relay. It's like a little kid with one of them toys trying to put the square plug in the round hole and it just don't fit. So, we're going to reach under the dash here. Cut the key off so it stops dinging at me. Cut the key off. There we go. We're going to reach under the dash here and we're going to remove our old flasher relay. All right, that's removed. As you can see, it's a two pin. Now, the trick with a solid state relay like this one is all we have to do is put extension wires on and this will plug up just the same as a regular one. And then I can tuck it back into the harness and zip tie it to it. That's how I'm planning on doing this. All right. So I have the new relay installed and plugged in, but as you can tell, we still have a solid flash. There's no flash in the current. Well, that's the thing about a solid state relay. They will only work one way. If I flip these wires right here around in the plug up there, this will actually work normally. So let me do that and I'll show y'all. Alright, I got my wires flipped around on the relay. So let's go check. As you can see, I have an LED light with a solid state relay. In an old truck and it works perfect all right guys so i hope y'all enjoyed that little tidbit of information i hope it helped y'all learn how to put leds into an older vehicle like a classic car or an older truck like this one without having to add resistors or anything like that in line because the resistors they can add up to a lot more than that little relay that will relay it is a Napa part number, let's see, it's a EL12L-2. This is the same thing that uh, like Painless Performance or any of the classic car companies to sell. The only difference is this doesn't have that annoying clicking. So if you want something that's going to click, you want it like an electric over mechanical type which is a little cheaper but it has that little ground wire that comes off of it if you're going to be using it for leds that's going to be what you need if you want to keep that mechanical click 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 I i'm not worried about it i just want a flasher that way i'm legal so this is what i picked up it costs a little bit more but i don't have that annoying clicking i know it's reliable and i don't have to add that ground wire i just had to add two extension wires and wrap it around and uh zip tight to the harness so if y'all enjoyed the video please leave a like a like and subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one till then take care <laughs>